Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Pizza Connection 3. So, things look a little bit different, don't they? Um, I was... This was originally supposed to be pretty much Operation Save Vespucci's, because Vespucci's was actually on the fast track to pretty much bankruptcy in the first episode, and I didn't really realize it. My pizzas were way too cheap, and I didn't understand why I was losing money, and I wasn't really paying attention to it either. So I was going to show that I had learned a lot in playing, you know, off camera, and I can still show that now, but uh, the game was pretty unbalanced the first time, and there's been an update uh, since to it that's supposed to help a little bit, but the raids, you know, the, the freaking sabotages were way too frequent in the very beginning, um, and your opponents were really aggressive, but they also went bankrupt really fast, so it was like, once you got to a certain point, it was like, there's really no point, uh, if there's no one to, to challenge me, really. Um, <laughs> so, this game has had, like, hold on, let me see if I can start up. I don't want to be in the same area, actually. I'm going to go to the cheapest one possible that I can find, which, if I'm not mistaken, is right next to the Opera House area. That's 446. That's not the one I'm looking for. 354. Here it is, 294. So, this one is right next to the Hotels. Um, and it's also next to the the opera as well as the movie theater. It's gonna start off I played I played through one and used this restaurant and it started off really hard and it was kind of difficult at first Because of the fact that you know, no one really comes by here per se They are they're always over here, but if you can get like an uh, mascot up in advertising, you know, you can you can bring in some pretty good business, but um, this game has had you know, pretty bad reviews so far. I like it because I guess I'd never played the other two uh, games in the series, so I don't, I didn't really know what to like expect, you know, coming in. So it's like some people are disappointed with the game. But like I said, I like it. There are some things that I think definitely could, uh, definitely could be better. I also realize that I'm now like for some reason I can't see half of my screen. So <laughs> god dang it. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess I'll just put it back in full screen mode because I have full screen mode off. There we go. That's better. All right, continue. Anyway, um, I definitely, I see, is, I've seen issues with uh, the runners. They don't always come back with things, which is really annoying because when you, when you actually have a lot of stuff going on and you really need the supplies, they really let you down when they come back with absolutely nothing in their hands. So... You know, I've had times where I've run out of, um, I've run out of materials in the middle of, like, a freaking crazy lunch rush or something. It's like, everybody walks the frick out. So, it's like, that is something that I hope will get fixed, um, but we'll see. Best Futures needs further action. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. We have no chairs. We have no ovens. We have nothing at this point. But, we soon will. Um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, looking at... One thing, too, that doesn't really uh, add up in this game is the expected visitors. Because I've had this no a number of times where it's like, okay, yeah, sure, tourists are supposed to be around here. Which, some of these people are. But in the times that they say they are, no one really comes by. <laughs> you, you can expect people pretty much at any time during the day. Matter of fact, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I could actually start off like late at night and still get people, even though it says that I shouldn't be able to. There's going to be a lot of people around here. Like, there's gonna be. I just know it. But we're gonna start off for right now what it set for what it says. We're gonna start off at like maybe three o'clock and work up until nine. We'll see how many people we get during that time. Um since it's all supposed to be tourists, I think we can just work with uh maybe modern tables. Tourists, yeah, tourists are okay, okay with modern tables. I like to kind of have a mixture. And just have like a freaking nasty looking restaurant that has like 15 different types of furniture in it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I think that's good for now. I may throw up another table just in case I end up getting some, um, some fancy big shot people like this lady over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw up another table for them and fill that one up. So we got a maximum of eight seats at this point right now. This is looking nasty, but okay. I don't really like the setup that this has right now because of the way the ovens are. I can't really freaking get anything in here right. <laughs> I can only have a maximum of two. Actually, I can only have one oven in here. So if things get crazy, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to have to change the layout really fast. Um, But now, 
we need some pizzas on this freaking menu and we also need some employees now, I, I actually have a couple of pizzas uh, that I've made off off of this recording pretty much that I'm gonna pretty I'm gonna use so I did make these uh, I made the four cheese which is pretty much just like four cheeses it's just a regular cheese pizza but looking at the price of course this is a lot better than the last time that I did this because I had like my pieces were like freaking two or three dollars and you're not gonna make any money that way so these are definitely uh, more expensive so I'm gonna go ahead and save that one uh, as the four cheese now available to be used so I'm gonna have to assign that to our our menu uh, there you go four cheese and I'm also gonna use my classic vegan pizza the vegan with the most unoriginal name that you ever want to freaking hear <laughs> there it is doesn't look that great but whatever I don't really care at this point how do tourists feel about it they don't like the use of ingredients on the pizza well, listen this pizza is like $18 so I don't really care I'm not gonna put too much more on it at this point um, we're, we're just gonna save it you know if they don't like it I, it's not really my problem at this point <laughs> Somebody will like it. That's all I can say. Somebody will like it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that one on the menu as well. And let's hire some employees, shall we? I'm going to get, let's see, who's the most expensive chef we can get? Henry Estrada uh, or Elizabeth Jamin. We Maybe we shouldn't start with the most expensive one yet because I, I don't see us really starting out too well in terms of like people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this one off with the three three to nine shift but i i'm probably going to end up moving them all to another shift at this point is what i'm expecting to end up having to do um let's go ahead and get maybe brenda coleman uh we'll also throw in a runner so we'll have one person per shift of each category deborah brooks you seem okay i'm fine with you right so now i also want to start the research of going because i want to get myself a uh a pizza cart because pizza carts like i said are the freaking saving grace when your restaurant is not doing too well which mine likely will not be doing too well for the first couple days considering now it's not even open i could try considering that they haven't worked yet i may go ahead and try and get um i may try and hmm, i'm gonna try and do this for the first day so that way we can at least try and make something you know and maybe I should actually I'm gonna bring my runner out to uh, have them be there a little bit earlier than before the shift starts because that makes sense right you want them to be there before so they can start and stock up and everything uh, by the time that I freaking get crazy into this though they're gonna be <laughs> they're gonna be all over the freaking place let's speed this up some the research is over halfway done at this point and it's now done all right so we can now buy a pizza cart and I'm gonna station this I think we're it a lot of times this glitches out um, the pizza cart and if you don't like change the hours at first it will like completely mess you up and it won't actually sell anything so we're gonna go ahead and place it there and just because of that of what I just said we're gonna change the hours we're gonna put the pizza on the menu the vegan and the four cheese uh, and then we're going to change it again to actually we'll change it to 6 to 15 all right so they're not going to be open to why is this I was gonna say they shouldn't be open today all right so they're not open today they currently have the supplies that they need though and I guess we're gonna keep that at 50 for right now we won't really worry too much about that at the moment now one thing I need to, I still need to uh, do the warehouse thing oh boy I need to research that uh although let's see finance wise we have a thousand mm, ingredients oh boy this is gonna get mm, I don't know if I want this right now I was gonna say I want to research the uh the warehouse but at the same time if I do that I'm probably gonna be broke for the first day or two at this point ah boy how much was that research again? It was uh, five thousand. So that leaves us with four, a little over four thousand, almost five thousand dollars. I'm gonna do it. I need it anyway, so we'll see. Uh, everybody should be coming in for that shift, by the way. Where's my runner at? 
because he's supposed to be well she's supposed to be here at this point I don't know how long it's gonna take and I feel like maybe we won't even have any ingredients by the time people get here oh wait there there she is all right she's bringing some stuff we probably won't have that many people here anyway today we'll find out soon enough uh, anybody anybody at all no nobody <laughs> nobody I mean come on there's people out here there's some deep there's a decent amount of people out here they're all over here though that's why I said I need to get the mascot going but that's gonna take a while god dang it man there's absolutely nobody out here that's willing to freaking come out here and do what they need to do you guys are killing me right now I've had no one show up in this time span no other than the cop over there that just decided to show up yeah we're not gonna be able to sustain that uh, I may have to move these guys to like I said the three to nine shift that's when I actually expect people to be here so we're just gonna do that we're gonna close well I guess I can't close now because we're already opened okay that's interesting uh, what now I'm in the red yes I'm aware of that now they're back again See, now there's people here. I guess maybe I should have paid attention to when it said that this was going to be a busy time for me. <laughs> there's a big shot coming in. We got to make sure he gets his pizza good and on time. $206. We're now out of the red. <laughs> We're now out of the red. Not bad, not bad. All right, what now? Discover raclette cheese as a favorite ingredient. Of how did I... Oh, see, how did I discover that? I guess because of the pizza cart over there. So that is working, which is good. Now, they should, one reason why I have these so close together is because eventually, there's so many people over here, and if they realize that, hey, there's a restaurant over here that has the exact same thing, eventually they will start to come over here when they realize that it's too busy over there. That's usually how it's worked for me, but we've had one guest today. That's it. One guy. One guy showed up. <laughs> one guy. I guess we could, um... $2,300 is what we currently have right now. That shift is now over, so the restaurant's about to close. We're still making money at the pizza cart, for what that's worth at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure we should still be in the green for tomorrow. I hope, at least. <laughs> 3458 is where we're at. Um, our finances... We've made a profit of $640, so that's not that bad. Well, the restaurant didn't, but... <laughs> the restaurant didn't, but the pizza cart in total allowed us to make up for that for the loss of this restaurant but pretty soon pretty soon pretty soon like I said we should be in a much better spot but we're gonna go ahead and speed up and we'll see what we can get done are we looking for ingredients wise uh, we're not oh I was gonna say do what do I have the uh, threshold to I'm gonna go ahead and let them fill it up I don't care at this point because I know at some point I'm gonna need it so I'd rather have it in that ability in that capacity rather than limit it early and then run out of supplies <laughs> maybe that's the reason why I ended up in a rough spot earlier uh, Vespucci is performing well with specific citizen types with who? we've only had one cut <laughs> we had one customer and it was a freaking big shot and he was like I like the pizza I like the slow waiting times yeah you were the only person in the restaurant <laughs> you were the only person there $474 is what we're now down to but at least we're not we're not in the red See, I want to cash in on all these people, man. I want to so bad. And it seems like my opponents have not... Uh, last time I played this, um, like, off-camera, I, I used this restaurant, I had an opponent that's set up right here. And you can see the literal flood of people. Like, the floodgates just opened up here. People coming from the bar, people coming from work over here. People coming from the, the movie theater, just all over here. So one of them had opened up a place here and was making a killing. But it seems like this time, they decided to set up over here. So I don't really know how much money they're making. But it was Montego that had done that. And they, like I said, they were making a killing. Now they are on the opposite side of... Wait a minute. They're, they're on the opposite side of me, aren't they? I'm up... Where am I at again? I'm up here somewhere. And they're down there so they they missed out on this and I have three competitors right oh the other one's set up up here interesting bad choices but made by all of you just saying one of you should have taken advantage of that matter of fact it probably should have been me <laughs> but I, I let you guys have that one I let you have it 
Alright, so we're now here again at 3 o'clock, and no one's coming in. We're in the red once again. That's great. <laughs> that is amazing, guys. Come on, we gotta do better than this. We gotta do... There's one guy, probably the same guy from freaking yesterday, that has decided to come back and order a pizza. <laughs> the same freaking guy. Oh, wait, we got two people today. Great. <laughs> That's so much freaking better. Two people. Two people. I think I may switch the hours again, though. Because I think... Uh, I'm thinking... Oh, wait. We might get a third person today. That's better. This one opened... We opened this up at 6. I was going to say maybe at 9 we could open up here. I mean, eventually I'm going to have probably a shift for it, like everything at this point. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, we're currently... Alright, how are we looking on the materials again? We are... can't tell. We're looking okay. We're doing fine. Of course, because we're not freaking selling anything anyway, so we're not really using much. $2,000 is where we're at. Still no one else coming over at the moment. But, hey, three is better than what we had yesterday, so I guess I'll take it. But look at the rush of people there, though. And not... hmm. When's the rush? I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at the area itself and make this decision rather than trying to look at what the game says because I'm looking and 10 o'clock there's a decent amount of people over there decent amount but like I said there was a lot of people over here too <laughs> at like late at night but I couldn't really capitalize on it even though my restaurant was open and no one else was because these guys weren't open because there's no one here so I'm up to three thousand six hundred dollars pretty much at this point four thousand four thousand six I was supposed to be getting the warehouse actually by the way at this point, maybe it isn't necessary because of the fact that I literally uh, don't have anything to really stock. I mean, oh well, I guess at this point. Speed through another freaking day at this point. I, let's see. We made a profit of $1,600 today. Once again, no thanks to, uh, <laughs> no thanks to Vespucci's, the actual restaurant. If this, if I didn't have the pizza card, I'd be broke by now. Just saying. I'd be absolutely broke by now. Uh, see, look at all these people here. And, but see, the thing about it is they're just out of my range. And I also need to start advertising, if I possibly can. Uh, it's not probably going to be that effective, but I'm going to try and do like five... We're going to try and do $500 worth of... That's not going to do anything. We're just going to advertise our price and our service because that's literally the only freaking thing that we have to offer at this point we're gonna start advertising see if we can bring some people in here because I don't feel like actually purchasing the research for the advertising thing like this thing like this would get a, a decent amount of people but when I did it before I had my mascot and I, I plopped him right freaking here so you can see how many people are crossing here right now and so you can only imagine how many people he was able to get in like we had a rush of people like at night, like in the middle of the freaking night, just people running from over here to over here, and it's like, I don't have enough for this, I can't handle it, I cannot handle this, but hopefully tomorrow would be a little bit better uh, for Vespucci's, uh, it may not be, but we're gonna see, speed up a little bit more, and down to 2,000, uh, what, Vespucci's performing well with specific citizen types, uh, we now have a star for students as well, um, that's not bad, I guess not bad not bad see this is why I was saying the students over here nine you know hmm, thinking about it thinking about I'm gonna move I'm gonna move my employees to the nine o'clock shift and we're just gonna see what we can do all right I'm gonna move you over to that that right there that'll work we're pretty much pretty well stocked anyway <laughs> we're fairly well stocked as it is like we this is the one time I'm feeling confident about our our warehouse materials. Alright, so maybe this is better this time around. Uh, this save. Because I've heard it had something to do with get the game loading and things. I don't know. Whatever. Shouldn't be a thing, but it is. Alright, so here we are. We're open up for the 9 o'clock shift. We just managed to get one person. Two people. There you go. It's a little bit better. We had three, a total of three people yesterday. So, two people in the first like hour of the shift is not too bad, I'd say. Um, it's better than yesterday. What now? Mission offer federal pizza. I never get these, so, like, sure it would be great, but 
Like, I only have two days to do it, and there's no way I'm going to be able to get this done in two days. There's a, there's a third person coming, a fourth person. Look, see? This shift is so much better. But look at, look, but, but, look at what it said. You know, it said this was going to be a down time for us, right? It said we should not expect to get anybody at this time. So it's obviously broken. It said we get zero students. But look at all these people. That's a student. I'm pretty sure that's a student right there that's behind him. I can't click her. Yeah, she's a student too. We got like four or five students in that time. Because everybody, all of them are headed to school, you know. So we managed to actually do a little bit better today, I'd say. We still got like four or five hours left at this point uh, in the shift before we close. And I don't think anybody's around now. So maybe maybe they weren't too too wrong <laughs> about that. Um, yeah, I don't see anybody right now. Uh, anybody? Nobody? Nobody wants to come get any pizza? Come on, guys. You know you want to. $6,000 now is what we're up to. I'm pretty sure we've done pretty well today. Maybe once again, not at Vespucci's, but... <laughs> we lost... It's getting better. It's getting better because the other day we were at negative 2,500, so... It's getting getting a little bit better I may switch the shifts again because yeah it, it is kind of dead out here right now at 1500 like it's completely oh wait there's one more person hold on we got one more guest today before we close up shop I don't even think they got to finish the guy dang pizza we just ran him out of the restaurant <laughs> I just no nope, forget your guy dang pizza forget it we don't care about your pizza I'm trying I'm hmm when is it the busiest in this area that we could actually get people? Probably when I had it earlier of like, actually, hmm, hmm, there's so many people over there right now. Oh, I need the mascot, man. I need him and I need him now. <laughs> I need him. I need him. I switched us to what, 9 o'clock? Uh, 9 to 15. That's when there's a spike over here in terms of people. So, I don't know. I was saying maybe I should switch it to the hours that this one isn't operated, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how good tomorrow is, and then I'm probably going to call an episode. Uh, and how are we looking? See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I had I had freaking gotten raided like three or four times already by now in the other one, but this one is, uh, you know, we're looking better. Everybody's kind of even in terms of money, too. Um, Montego is still the leader. I'm like number two, I'm bringing up the rear, but I'm pretty sure soon I should be able to take over. Oh man, like, it's just imagine being able to capitalize on this right here. But it, like I said, they're just outside of my range, and I, I don't have enough money for the research to do, even if I wanted to get this, I don't have enough money for the research, so. Uh, it's annoying as frick. I was trying to see if I could catch the tourists too. But you look at this and it's like, they're just barely inside my range too. And they don't seem to even want to come over here anyway. For some reason, they don't care about my pizza. Don't know why. There's people over there, but we're not open yet, technically. Uh, not even technically, we're not open yet at all. We should be open in like an hour. So we should be able to cash in on some of these students over there. Uh, maybe, possibly, or not. <laughs> or not, we're up to $6,000 again. All right, that's one person for today. One person. Can we get another? No, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, there we go. Two more. Come on. Wait, is that three? Three more. Yeah. She came yesterday, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So she's back for more. Returning customers. I like to see that. Oh, another one. Two more. Look at this. We're getting better. Maybe the advertisement is helping. And maybe probably not. It's like literally $500. No one's... Probably no one's seeing these advertisements. They're probably like the worst advertisements in the world. They're freaking, you know, the, like the freaking radio commercials here with like the horrible jingles in them. That's probably what this is. <laughs> probably what we've done at this point. How are we looking on supplies? We're pretty good. Okay. I'm happy. I'm pleased with that. Our, um, our runner, I think, is off now because I put, I put her earlier than the shift. So we may actually make a profit today, though, at Vespucci's. I don't know. Let's see. We, nope, we're still $1,000 in the hole. <laughs> we got a couple more people coming in, though. So, I mean, we may not be too far off. That's one more person there. Uh, let's see. Can we get another? Maybe? No? Third? Nope. That's it. 
That's seemingly it for the day. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping for more, but I guess, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Like I said, I may still switch back to that other... Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about switching shifts again. Back to 6 to 12. But then, 12 o'clock, you really expect to see a lunch rush from people. Like in real life, you know? And early in the morning, you don't really expect to get that. You get... You expect to get people like coming to work, you know, in the morning. These and these are kids going to school in the morning. But see, like I said, you you see a, a big jump in that, like what is that, 10, 12, 10, you know, area. So that's where we were starting to get customers in at. So it wasn't too bad today, though. I'd say uh, we managed to make. That's the other restaurant. Hold on. We only lost one hundred and sixty-six dollars today. So that's much better. Things are getting 10 times better than they were. And I think I may be the actual leader in terms of, uh, in terms of, yeah, I'm an actual leader in terms of, like, money. So that's not bad. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a warehouse yet, but, you know, eh, eventually. Maybe a couple, couple more days we'll get a warehouse. I have the research done. I just didn't bother to actually rent it out because I, I don't really need it yet, per se. Unless I just want to make better pizza. Which I do, but, you know, whatever. But, I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.